just eating lunch right now. Um, today's plan, I'm just, I have chores to do. I need to do a toy rotation, stuff diapers that are back here, just do a couple other things. So I figured I'd bring you along. We're just gonna get some stuff done today. Yeah, that's my fork. Thank you, baby. Um, so Lucy and I are gonna finish up our lunch. <laughs> Is that good? You like your lunch? Mmm, it's so good. Yeah, that's camera. It's me, um. Oh. oh. What a tease! You didn't even give it to me. I have like an hour and a half until Oliver is home, so I try to get some things done. Um, but first food. So this is a total mess. We're going to get taken care of. Um, I have not rotated her toys in a while. So the bottom two shelves are her toys. So I need to like pick all the toys up, clean them, and then get out the new toys. And then there's like junk up there that needs to be put away. Um, plus I'm still eating my lunch because little miss eats very quickly. Okay, so, um, what I usually do first is I gather all of the toys um, and put them in a laundry basket that's back here. So I'll put all the toys in there, set them to the side, and get out the toys for this rotation, and um, put those out so that she has those to play with while I clean and put away all of these. don't rotate um, I just clean them here and there because they're just like nicer books that she doesn't play with on her own um, those are books that she uses with mama or with papa um, or that like a babysitter or something can pull out to be a little extra entertaining for her um, but they're not books that she flips through so I don't really count those in the toy rotation um, but everything else pretty much rotates every, I would say every maybe two weeks, um, I either wash all of her little stuffed animals or I spray them with Eves and put them in the dryer. This time I'm just going to spray them, uh, Thieves is the cleaner that I use, um, I'll spray them with the cleaner and put them in the dryer or I'll spray them um, and put them in the tub. So I'm just going to spray them and put them directly oof, in the tub today. She has these soft books and what I like about this particular cleaner, this is the only cleaner I use for her toys. It's completely safe and so for her books, um, like this one, this soft book, um, I just spray it and I leave it on there and so it disinfects. I don't like have to run it through the washer or anything as often um so I just usually spray it down we have um like 
kid groups and, and things, neighbors that will come over. And um, also Lucy's been kind of stuffy lately. Um, we live in San Antonio and the cedar has been really, really bad. So um, just trying to keep things as <laughs> sanitized as possible, just with having multiple children here through the week typically, and then um, just having Lucy being a little bit more snotty than usual. I had registered for this and um, it was not one of the things that was purchased. And I just, you don't need a lot of toys with a newborn. So I held off on really buying any toys. And, but I was at the thrift store. And I want to say that this was maybe close to like 12, maybe $14 at Target. But um, I found it at the thrift store. It was on sale and then it was discounted. So I got it for, I want to say like three or $4. Um, and it's in pretty good shape and she loves it. So I love a good thrift find. When I'm setting her toys out week by week, I set them out differently. I don't want her to get used to how they're set up. So this week I stored the puzzle pieces in a bag separate from the puzzle. So she had to go to the bag, find the puzzle piece and put it in the puzzle. Another thing that goes in the toy rotation are, let me show you. She has these more like sensory books. Um, let's see if I can show you. Oof, and it has like the little ducky, she can pet it, and the sheep, she can pet it. So, oh, the more sensory type books, um, those rotate for sure. She just gets like the farm one this last week, and then she has a different one this week. I forget which one it is. Um, but she has a few different books like that. She has books with mirrors in them. Um, ones that she plays with, we rotate. It's really important to me to not spend too much on toys. So it's nice that she has adapted really well to having a toy rotation. It's what's working for us right now. Good job, Lucy. Thank you so much. Oh, the toys need to stay in the tub. I'm going to put all of your toys from the basket into the tub. Thank you for listening. It's time to put them away and then I'm going to stuff diapers. And if I have time, Lucy got a gift in the mail today. It is a bird feeder that goes on the window outside of her room. She loves to look out the window, so I might see if I can get that set up. You'll have enough time. I had a cloth diapering catastrophe, and I'm super bummed. We've been adding on to our cloth diaper collection, just getting more as we can. Um, I just got a brand new pack, <laughs> and then Lucy got a little bit of a tummy bug, and so she had, her boobs were really irritating her booty, and I knew that there were some diaper rash creams that you are not supposed to use in a cloth diaper because it will not come out. I thought the one I had was safe. I was mistaken. And so, I'm stuffing your diapers. So anyways, Lucy's tummy was a little upset, so she needed diaper rash cream. I thought the one I had was safe. It's not. Lesson learned. So five diapers, I have them separated over here. I need to inspect them a little bit closer and see just how damaged they are because I washed them, I stripped them, I scrubbed them. Anything I could think to do to get the darn. That's beautiful. To get the spots out and I'm afraid that there are some of them that just 
may not be able to be salvaged. This one, I'm so bummed about. It's my favorite. It's so cute and it's from a brand new package. So, we'll see how many of these can be salvaged. I just, I don't know. Ugh.